Hi, today we are going to learn how to design an, an e-proof. Now, while designing an e-proof, there are two basic rules you must abide with. That is, when two diagonal lines meet, you should you will continue going straight. That is the number one rule. The second rule states that when a diagonal line hits a straight line, you move in the direction opposite to the initial diagonal line you might not exploit all these rules but we'll make use of them in subsequent tutorials so the first thing you do while designing an e-proof is you hit pl enter that is a polyline you click on your screen type pl enter so i'll come here click on this edge i will now set the width of my polyline to 25 mm the ending with also 25 so is it thick yeah it's thick enough so i'll come straight click on this edge come down again make sure you are the edges is very very important you make sure your auto is also on so come to this edge then you can eat what c to close so the next thing is i light my tie to block and also click on my polyline that i just made so i can now type co and hit enter so i will now move it yeah to somewhere here press escape so now this is the boundary for my roof what do i do next i create a new layer name it roof i prefer using green so i'll go for color 92 okay click ok you now what do you do next you offset your building by 600 mm so i've highlighted it i would hit on o enter then type 600 hit enter so make sure you offset outwards after that you press escape now the next thing is i will put this uh, offsetted lines which is going to represent my roofing I'm going to put it on the roof layer. Now, next thing we need to do is to draw our diagonal lines. So our diagonal lines will be on 45 degrees angle. So I will type L enter. I'll go like this. My auto is on, no problem. So hit shift two. That's that creates the heart button, heart symbol. Then I'll type 2000 or any random measurement. Then I'll hit less than 45. There are many ways to achieve this also. I can make use of my polar tracking and set an angle. So, but no problem. So I'll click on this. Now type MI enter. Look for the middle here. I'll mirror. Hit enter. Now I like this too mi enter again to mirror look for the middle here yeah it's enter okay so the next thing we do next is we make these two diagonal lines to join so to achieve that i'm going to type f enter that's fillet now make sure your radius is what set to zero so to be sure i'll type r enter you can see it's zero i already noticed it was zero before so I can now fill it. I'll click here, click here. It looks good. Hit my enter button that repeats the previous command. Hit here, hit here. So this is where our rule comes in play. When two diagonal lines meet, we move on a straight line. So I'll hit L enter and move on a straight line. So now we have our roof plan. So what do we do next? I will like this. Click on this to put it on what roof layer. I'll press escape after doing that. So to this is just aesthetics. If you like, you might not need to do it. So what do I do to make it a little bit beautiful? I'll eat this, offset it by 50 mm upwards, offset downwards offset upwards and downwards i'll do it for all the lines all the lines 
okay hit escape um, when i'm done then i'll trim tr hit enter twice so i'll trim here trim here trim here trim here trim here trim here then i'll come here trim here trim here trim here trim here trim here okay i must not forget this too so i think it looks good let's check these edges so i'll trim here trim here go to this other edge trim it trim it then i'll come here trim here trim here trim this also trim this also so i think we have something that looks really nice so i'll hit my escape button so now we are going to hatch so to hatch i will hit h enter now i'm going to make use of lines so i can click on this drop down look for lines 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 this is it so you can click on what you want to hatch so i'm going to hatch within these boundaries so i will increase the scale let's try 1000 not bad maybe increase it a little bit slightly 1500 zero, zero. okay so take note it shows it's sloping downwards that's why the hatch lines are like this so i'll hit my escape key type h and hit enter again this time i'll do for these sides these sides these sides yeah these sides now you must be careful this is look like these are horizontal lines so i will rotate them by 90 degrees to show they are sloping downwards so i can hit my escape key so now let's make sure these arches are in the right layer so i will light it and put it on roof layer so we have our roof now you can go ahead and make it a little bit nice by showing a, a symbol that shows it sloping downwards so i'll come here go to view click on my tool palette and make use of a symbol there so i'll click here then i'll zoom in it's very very small so i'll zoom in i light it now scale it i will scale it it here for base point scale it by 1000 so that it's a little bit big i hope it's not too big it's not too big so we can close this so this is just a shortcut i'm just trying to make use of this symbol so i would what explode it hit x then hit enter then i'll delete what we have within it this was an inbuilt block used but done by autocad so by autodesk so i will light this I feel it's a little bit big so maybe we scale it a little bit lower to 0 0.7 yeah so this looks better so i'll turn it to a block i like it um type b enter so uh, i can name it anything i like maybe i'll just name it slope one go for pick point use the center as my pick point then i'll hit ok so now let's make use of it to make use of it i'll make use of construction lines excel enter then i'll go for h enter so i'll come here that's one construction line i'll hit escape excel enter then v enter so i'll look for the middle here again hit my enter button so i can easily show move it i'll use the tip here so i'll come here drop it then mirror i like it type M -I, M I enter go for the center to get your mirror line take it upwards yeah so it enter okay so the next one i hit co enter i like it click on this put it there then rotate r o enter so i'll type i'll rotate by 90. okay so i'll light it move it 
yeah so let's be careful i'll drop it on this line okay is my tip yeah it's okay so i can mirror it and my enter mirror okay it's my enter button so i can delete my diagonal lines so we have a roof now now to be perfect you can highlight your column lines highlight them make sure everything has been selected so you now type co enter make use of an edge so i'm making use of this edge now you need to be careful go to the sim edge here yeah. that's this and paste it so you can hit the escape key okay we need to be careful this middle line was not taken so i need to take it with it so we'll go co enter use the same edge so i'll use paste it on the same edge again so yeah so we have a completed e proof thanks feel free to drop any comments or suggestions thanks